global trends in development of smart cities and smart infrastructure are the core of smart cities and smart nations agenda of many country governments. India too is witnessing a huge transformation in public service delivery through innovative use of disruptive technologies under Digital India Agenda and 100 Smart Cities missions announced by the Government of India. The World Bank is a committed partner on Smart Cities and Smart Villages mission. India ICT enabled integration for green growth project is one such initiative undertaken by the Digital Development Global Practice through Korean Green Growth Trust Fund. Under this project, the World Bank hosted a knowledge portal for smart cities which was launched through a national conference on 21st and 22nd of June 2017. The Digital Development India team at the World Bank has been able to bring many multilateral agencies, multiple countries and industries together on single knowledge management platform who were earlier working in isolation in their independent initiatives addressing the same problems which in the long run would have resulted in wastage of investment and resources. You know, one of the challenges in terms of bringing people from different backgrounds is uh, that everyone looks at it from uh, their perspective uh, and uh, it's like Einstein's theory of relativity. Smart city means you are addressing the complaints of people. We have uh, huge expectations from people and when we have raised their expectation, it's our duty to fulfill the expectation. Our main aim in smart cities to conserve, to preserve, our heritage. We are facing problem of traffic condition. Use of technology for happiness of all those who are in our villages. This is uh, something which cannot be done immediately to entire city. This is an uh, evolving thing. Cities are just vehicles of implementation. They do not have much authority in terms of what they can and cannot do. And so issues of you know, village, issues of a small town and issues of a city should be seen together. Smart cities itself is a big question which is to be answered uh, by everybody of us. We need to build capacities at all levels from bottom to the top of the hierarchy. That sharing community practice is really important because smart cities give us an opportunity to accelerate, to have disruptive new opportunities to do things differently. When you have limited resources, you even have to be smarter. So to find good technical solutions, to find good ways of doing things, doesn't necessarily cost money. To further strengthen these collaborations, the World Bank organized Smart Republic 2018, an international conference for collaborative development of smart cities and smart villages on the 15th and 16th of February 2018 with the aim to strengthen collaboration among all stakeholder groups for development of sustainable smart cities and smart villages. I think what's uh, critical now and the reason for the conference now has been that another 39 smart cities announced recently. The demands on those cities and the commissioners and the staff there is to actually become a smart city quite quickly. The question is how? Funding has been made available. Uh, it's shared between the central and state government. Specially dedicated SPVs have been formed to help uh, these cities implement the project. When we were talking to them, they said, you know, we have received the funding from central government, we've received funding from state government, but our key challenges are being able to quickly deploy the projects. For doing that and monitoring how these are being done. That I think is one single challenge in terms of the capacity and the expertise to deliver something so complex and so large. And our cities have not gone in for such complex implementations. It's very important to learn from what has already happened across the globe. We have a single objective that whatever we do, citizen engagement and acting on their feedback to modify the program. The big challenge here is to, uh, I think, try and move from uh, retail level work uh, that uh, is happening to more uh, wholesale level platforms. The Smart Republic 2018 witnessed a very strong and positive participation of smart city CEOs and municipal commissioners. Senior government officers from central and state government agencies and departments, mission leaders and senior practitioners from multiple agencies from India 
and across the world. What we have been doing as a city of Panjim or as the capital city is to ensure that major flagship projects such as the integrated command and control center, 24 by 7 water supply using a performance based contract. We have all the things uh, which a smart city should have starting from command control center which is already starting. We will have an ICT and ITMS structures. We are second round cities so we are initially at the DPR preparation stage and we are working on different projects. Bareilly is already an ideal uh, corporation, around 50% population involved in this industrial production. With the help of this uh, industrial growth and further planning for entire uh, city beautification and uh, area development and uh, project implementation. Now when we are thinking of high-end solutions, what exactly those solutions are, how we can uh, find implementers of those solutions, this is where we need lots of support from others. Guide us in uh, technology, where we can get the technology help and innovative ideas how to manage our day to day problem, it will be very helpful to us. I was actually pleasantly surprised that uh, how much enthusiasm and uh, commitment is, exists in the uh, smart city teams, especially the CEOs and the commissioners of smart cities. I think all of them, without exception, have cited lack of expertise, lack of knowledge, and uh, the lack of experience as the biggest problem. These are courses that are run throughout India through the Institute and the UN University is also constructing a course targeting a lot of the city officials, the commissioners, decision makers as well as particular technical experts. I think that everyone knows what they want but uh, sometimes they, they are not able to put in the paper in the right way. So, we have also a course how to create a strategy, align it with the sustainable development goals, align it with what is a smart city vision. We have developed almost seven smart cities programs under the smart city challenge phase and uh, we are also supporting the local government and the smart city project in terms of smart city training program as well. Also uh, sometimes needs work in the larger spatial context as well. Cities are or villages are but uh, overall for the whole republic. Smart Republic 2018 was hosted by the World Bank in partnership with All India Institute of Local Self-Government Regional Centers of Urban and Environmental Studies located in Lucknow, Mumbai and Hyderabad. The Society for Promotion of E-Governance, Indian Institute of Public Administration, United Nations Global Compact Network India, United Nations University Portugal and UN Habitat. Norwegian Embassy joined as a strategy partner through its Innovation Norway initiative. I think the number of cities involved in the portal has increased. That still needs to grow even further. And of course, people finding out about the portal. I believe this could be a very important instrument. The way it is developed, I think it can be used as a very good uh, tool and the instrument uh, by all those who are involved in this smart city program. We started with three Indian cities. Today we have 20 uh, Indian cities who have already participated. Uh, and with the kind of demand we are receiving, maybe in the next six months, all 100 cities will join the initiative. And we realize that a lot of agencies are working in silos. That is the time when Global Compact Network and SIGET uh, connected with uh, the World Bank Group. The ICT portal has been a great resource. I think it's one of the best investments that the bank could have done uh, for the cities. This is the first time uh, World Bank India mission had actually proliferated something like that. So we're very glad to be associated with World Bank on this particular mission. We were uh, uh, really impressed to see how uh, these agencies, both from the private sector, from uh, UN agencies, uh, from academic and research organizations, how much knowledge they have and how much willingness they have to support and work together. A couple of uh, big areas where uh, if we can see if the World Bank can uh, support. One is in the better use of uh, information uh, technology and tools such as uh, looking at uh, options for uh, being able to access uh, data on cities uh, on your phone. The Smart Republic Forum focuses on enhancing collaboration between multiple stakeholders. 
by leveraging disruptive technologies and digital platform and deployment of best practices to catalyze effective, coordinated and result-based implementation of smart cities and smart villages program. The benefit of having a conference such as this is to uh, listen to these different viewpoints and they're all in many ways I think uh, uh, hungry for information and hungry for learning about new ways and new approaches. As far as city practitioners are concerned, it is a challenge to bring them on board even if they are on board, for them to use it on real-time cases. Actually the mission guideline clearly says that we don't have to reinvent the wheel again and again. So we have to replicate the best practices and I think this is the best forum from where uh, we have taken away all the best practices. By going and making use of this portal, we can come across, in nutshell, what are the activities going on across and how we can be benefited. So we'll be needing a lot of financial management capacity building as well as true sharing platform for getting the good things done at other cities which we can implement in our cities to make them better, healthier, livable. Cities. So it's no longer about competition and more about collaboration. So these kind of forums help people to realize, to give a reality check to the dreams. The activities under the Project India ICT enabled integration for green growth will continue to bring more stakeholders to work jointly to achieve South South, South North, and triangular partnership for shared digital dividends. Now that we have discussed all of these issues, in presence of three UN agencies, World Bank, three Government of India agencies which directly work under Ministry of Urban Development and are mandated to mentor all these 100 cities. Let us see how we can all work together. The key roles of the World Bank is operating as a convener. So bringing people and organisations, um, research institutes, information together that we can help smart cities or countries leapfrog the experiences of others. To achieve the sustainable development goals, 50% of the effort and the ability will depend on India for the whole of the planet. And so that community of practice, I wanted to come here so I could both share but learn. That's the best way of doing it. I mean, collaborate efforts like that, sharing experiences, both good and bad, that's basically I think the most efficient way. The 100 cities have been selected but really speaking also every city really needs to be a smart city, every village needs to be a smart village and every state needs to be smart and countries like India need to be uh, smart. I think one of the interesting themes that came out was that smart cities need smart officials but they also need smart citizens. Actually being invited to participate in problem solving, um, being part of the ecosystem. Individually, 100 cities don't struggle, all of them by themselves. Uh, can we have collaboration at the city level? Can we have collaboration among states? And in terms of providers of knowledge and expertise, can we have collaboration so that we all uh, make sure that we are not duplicating, we are not uh, wasting our effort and time and we can learn from each other and make this program a big success. 